This is a lead qualification agent. An agent can customize the methods and tailor the PDS about a presentation to provide the best answer in the email possible. This AI agent uses two workflows. One is the AI agent itself, and the second one is the email sender. This AI agent is already on production. It's a real example. It's not a typical test or a typical agent to show how something works. Not it's a, something that I already implement on my business to customize the message or the emails that I'm going to send to the interesting user on my mentorship program. And basically this works this way. The user fill the form, the system send the information to my workflow and the AI agent customize the message and tailor the PDF and send the best email possible. Let me show you how it works. Basically the user has to fill the form and send the information to the AI agent. Let's test it. Submitting, just waiting some time and boom, we got the email, the email, a customized email to John that say, hey John, it's a also an interesting AI agent to make lead generation and also provide me a PDF about the, the course that I'm going to offer to them. Maybe you are wondering, what is my mentorship one-to-one -one mentorship to create AI agents. It's a mentorship where I'm going to teach you how you can become an AI automation specialist and you are going to teach you how to create your first AI agents and push to production. But that is not a simple pre-recorder or community join course. No, that is a one-to-one -one when where I'm going to become in your tutor. I'm going to answer your daily question and monitor your growth. If you are insisting on it, below in the description, I'm going to leave the link about the waitlist for this program. But stop to talk and let's take a look under the hood. Let's go through know by know how this AI aging was. As an entry point, we have a web hook. We provide a post URL and I changed here the response because as a default, we have immediately, but in this case, it will not be immediately. In this case, use the wet hood response no. And next to the entry point, we have a section that I would like to call gather and map data. Basically, we create a JSON or JSON and provide this JSON to the super base no. This is the database that I use, but here you can use any database that you want. And I have a validation, a if validation, no. If this user already exists, continue with the workflow. If not, we are going to create a new record on our database, basically store the new user. And this map of that to agent, just use the same JSON than this no, but we added a new field is 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 new user or not that it will be useful for our customization in our ai agent we added a chat model using this model that is super simple and um, we connect with our google drive that provide a pdf template presentation and the ai agent can read this presentation to customize the message much better we have the external resources in this case it's up to you what will be the resources in my case are simple docs and google sheet as well but in the future if it's needed i could change this for a pinnacle tool or any that vector database to improve the answer of my AI agents. Inside of the agents, there is a couple interesting st stuff under the hood. And um, first of all is the user message. I say to the uh, to the agents what is the JSON provider. And here in the prompt is super important. I'm going to slow down in the prompt because it's something that changes the behavior and the functionality. We have the role. I would like to add pro to the agent and specify what will be the role. In this case, it's an AI agent charge offending personal message. Also, I always provide a context where the AI agent works and what is the use case. In this case, you work as an AI agent when the user submit a form on the Simeon website. That's helped the agent to get more context about it. Tools is super important, maybe the most important a step because we list the tool that we have and provide a brief description about what the tools do. We have all old tools, message tool, YouTube tools, something because I added YouTube tools is because 
I would like, if it's needed, the AI agent can recommend one video, you one video YouTube to the user if the question is related with one of their YouTube videos that I have. Uh, personal data tool about myself, mentorship data tools that provide information about my mentorship program, and finally the tasks. Here you we have to you have to uh, okay finally it does here we have to be so accurate what we have as a final result in my case the final result is email is send the email that's mean call the email sender because when I was working on it a couple of times the AI agent didn't call this tool that's why I said as a mandatory here finally when the AI agent finish with the message has to send the information to an email sender. The email sender has a couple required fields, for example, from, to, subject, and HTML. And the file is an NTR, right? Because the email sender will download the PDF. Let's see how this works. Basically, it's an execution node. We validate the all field requirements exist. If not, we stop an error. If so, we download the PDF, convert the PDF to binary data. Here we transform the data about the file because the backend that I did require this kind of object where there is file name, content type, and content. And finally, we send the email. Here, to send the email, you can replace to for, for your favorite tools, basically. It could be MailChimp, it could be Gmail if you want. In my case, it's a HTTP request because it will call my backend and my backend use resend to send the email. Let's do a quickly example that how does it works because I have a PNF uh, data and execute to see how it works. And you can see, call the all data sources, call the chat model when it's needed. It will call the chat model a couple of times. It could take a little bit time. Uh, well, in this case, having called the PDF presentation. Well, this name was already sent. In. Let's check quickly if we have a new one. Yes. Nice. Well, nice is, is the name that we have here. Let's check. What is the reason? Yeah, it is. And we have a tailored message on our custom PDF. A couple use helpful tips about it when you're working with this is first of all pin the test data because this way you can to only click on this button to test again your workflow. Another tip is use any application to test the request. Like I in in this, in this case is Postman. You only have to copy this URL and paste on the Postman, and this way you can test your workflow simulating that you are on application. This, my second tip is use Cursor AI or any AI editor to integrate the workflow with your form or application. Because right now you have to only chat with the AI and the AI will create a code for you. It's super simple because that is a only integrate an endpoint with a phone is is something that the AI can do super fast and easy. What is next? The AI agent that I show you is part of my arming agents that I am creating to my business. My next plan is create an AI voice agent for my landing page, help the user to get information quickly about my mentorship. Another agent will be a agents. Uh, another agents will be a agents to handle the new new letters. But if you want to learn more about agents in the real world, in the real business, just follow me because I'm going to create a couple videos about it.